So in this video, I want to show you how to soft boil some quail eggs and then turn them into deep fried quail eggs, which is really nice to you can add them to a soup, or add them to risotto or salad. And uh, pretty sensational because the egg yolk is going to be really runny. So first, we will place them into some boiling hot water. We need to make sure that the eggs are at warm room temperature because if we take them straight out from the fridge, they might crack, you know, the eggshell might crack and the egg starts to use, ooze out. So make sure they are at the warm room temperature, then place them into the water. The next thing I want to show you now is that you need to turn the temperature of the water down so that you basically go to almost like a sort of a simmering stage or what you would also call poaching them. Because once the egg white starts to cook and you keep overheating them because you are at a boiling temperature, you will find that the egg whites can become very chewy very hard so just let them sit there just around the boiling point and you will find that the egg white later on will be much more tender rather than chewy so then you need to take the eggs out straight away and put them in really cold water you need to give them the temperature shock so that the egg shells later on easier peel off the egg so i want to show you now how most people would think they would peel quail eggs and sometimes it works pretty well where you just take a spoon and you bash up the eggshell. It very much depends on how strong is the eggshell of the quail egg. You see, in my case, it works pretty well, but sometimes you might find if the eggshell is really, really thick, you know, it actually might break and it's almost impossible to peel a quail egg. So therefore, I want to show you now how that's done in case you find that the eggs or your quail eggs don't peel that well. You drain off some of the cold water and then you add some vinegar. The vinegar will basically start to break down the calcium in the eggshell and will eventually turn the eggshell in almost like a sort of a leather like texture. And you can now see straight away how the sort of little bubbles come up. But what happens now is basically the vinegar or the acid of the vinegar starts breaking down the calcium in the egg, in the eggshell. And eventually you can even rub off the color and you can see now, you can see it's bubbling quite a bit. You can also see that the first layer of the skin of the egg basically goes, dissolves itself. So now I do exactly the same thing. I bash it up with a spoon because that breaks the eggshell up much nicer so you don't get any splinters. You can see it's almost like leather now. It's, it's like a skin. And you can peel those eggs that way much, much easier without having any sort of sharp eggshell splinter. So again, take the egg out, break it up with a spoon, and then just peel the egg. You can see with that egg now, it's a sign that the egg wasn't super fresh. You can see that because the egg yolk has moved into the side of the egg white. So if the egg will be super fresh, you would find that the uh, egg yolk would not be sitting on the side so you couldn't see it, it would sit right in the center. So now give the eggs a bit of a rinse and here we go that's your soft boiled quail eggs and they're pretty good as salad or into soup but I want to show you now to add a different texture so I want to now crumb them and deep fry them. But when you do that they're obviously absolutely amazing for any sort of soup or a salad so first roll them in a bit of flour. And you can of course pre-cook them and you could leave them in the fridge for like two, three or four days. But I would recommend you crumb them just before you cook them. Because you want to have the egg or the brick crumbs being quite crispy and crunchy. So next into some egg wash, which is just basically whipped up egg. And don't add any milk to it because you want to have it nice and thick and stick much better. And you will also get a much better texture if you just use egg by itself. If you find there's some spots that haven't been covered, just dip them back into the egg and roll them in the breadcrumbs. And I use some Japanese breadcrumbs. And next, we're going to deep fry them in an oil. And now I want to show you how to find out if the temperature of the oil is hot enough. So, what I do here now, I preheated the oil. I need a temperature of 170, 175 degrees Celsius. So I just add some bread to it. So dry bread, so any bread you have, and then you need to count 
from 0 until 30, so approximately 30 seconds. And if you find that at around 30 seconds the bread is golden brown, then you know that fat is the right temperature. So my fat has the right temperature. I place the eggs into it and I deep fry them all around. Make sure you don't do that too long because again you do not want to overcook the egg hence it's so important that your oil is hot enough and then take them out put them onto some kitchen paper and drain off a little bit of the oil and there are your deep fried quail eggs and i'm gonna check now how they look inside they're really good so let's cut one open you can see straight away just perfectly soft oil 